Welcome once again. In this session, we're going to be reading 2 Timothy chapter 4, verses 1 through 5. Paul wrote to Timothy, I command you, therefore, before God and the Lord Jesus Christ, who will judge the living and the dead at his appearing and his kingdom, preach the word, be urgent in season and out of season, reprove, rebuke, and exhort with all patience and teaching. Reprove, rebuke, and exhort. How many preachers do you ever hear reprove and rebuke using the scriptures? You see, Paul said this is how we are to preach the word, to reprove, rebuke, and exhort with all patience and teaching. For the time will come, and indeed is here, when they will not listen to the sound doctrine, but having itching ears, will heap up for themselves teachers after their own lusts. Teachers after their own lusts. What are their own lusts? Perhaps immoral sexual behavior, perhaps materialism. So these people will reject the truth, will reject sound doctrine, and they will heap up for themselves teachers. In other words, they will be fans of teachers that just preach all the stuff they want to hear. Feel good preachers preaching a feel good gospel. So having itching ears, they will heap up for themselves teachers after their own lusts and will turn away their ears from the truth and turn away to fables. And so what are some of these fables that Paul is talking about? We have a lot of preachers today preaching a Jesus that is quite different than the Jesus that we read about in the Gospels. We have preachers preaching today a Jesus that just loves everybody so much. I mean, he would just, he would go around giving everybody hugs and kisses and, you know, he would never rebuke anybody of any sin. Of course, he would just accept, 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 a, a love, 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 you know, it's all about love. But you see, we read in the scriptures of Jesus that's much, much different than that. He constantly rebuked people for their sin, for their hypocrisy. In fact, in John chapter 7, verse 7, Jesus said that the world hates him. The world hates him? Well, the Jesus that the preachers preach today, the fables, the God that preachers preach today, the fable God, is a God that would just be loving everybody and so kind to everybody. And why would anybody hate Jesus? Jesus told us the answer. He said, the world hates me because I testify that its deeds are evil. How many preachers do you know of today that testify that the world is evil? Testify that secularism is evil. Testify that much of what's going on in society today is evil. Some of the fables that a lot of preachers are preaching today is that God wants to bless you so much. I mean, you want, you're going to have so much money. You're going to have so much material things. Oh, and you feel good, you know, just uh, that you have all this pleasure. But they wouldn't dare break down the sins that Paul lists in Galatians chapter 5, verse 19 to 22. Or 1 Corinthians chapter 6. These preachers wouldn't dare say that if you do any of these things, you will not. I mean, capital N capital O, capital T, not inherit the kingdom of God. That's the gospel, to repent, to change your ways. So after Paul said that these people in latter times will heap up for themselves teachers after their own lusts, will turn away their ears from the truth, and will turn away to fables, he said, but you, okay, this is a contrast, but, but you be sober, not be drunk, not be high, be sober, be sober in all things, suffer hardship. That's a command. What about the pleasure? What about all the selfish pleasure? Suffer hardship, Paul says. Do the work of an evangelist and fulfill your ministry. Until next time, seek God with all your heart. And if you do, you will find him. Call upon him and he will show you great and mighty things. Love you guys.